Dipper, do we do it? So we are, just to let you know, we are about to do a live in-person recording of an actual podcast. You get to see how the sausage is made. All right, here we go. Let's do this. M. Oh. M. Mom. Welcome back for yet another steaming, steaming piping, scalding, scalding serving of hot god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, wait. Mm, oh wait. Oh, is the gas hot? House of love. Mm, mm. Sip a sip a sip a drink. Oh god. Sip a, sip oh god. A, that's horrible. Drink. Oh, that yeah. is that is not good. That is. Wait. Not do you delicious. have the watermelon Valtrex flavor? <laughs> That is, oh, we got I so prefer, more I prefer, jokes. I like the grapefruit Robitussin. <laughs> it's delicious. It, it peeled the corns right off my feet. Oh, my God. Peeled the corns, fed the children. What is that stuff? You know that that uh, movie they did called Pretty, uh, Pretty, Pretty Ugly or something? And it's about how all the makeup products has have asbestos in it? I think this drink has asbestos in it. I'm just going to say it. I mean... That sounds factual, so I'll say it too. I'll tweet it. On this podcast, we only report the facts. The facts. Um, and we have a fax number. We. <laughs> it's at momplus.plus.com. <laughs> Did you all get a free uh, Mom Plus subscription for a month? All so right. So what we're hoping is that you really love it, or if you hate it, you forget that it's on automatic renewal. <laughs> it's only four ninety nine. It ain't gonna kill you. We need it for wigs. Or some of us need it for wigs. We are going. Shady bitch. A dragonfly. We are. Dragon fly. Uh, we are uh, this okay. This, if you don't know, is our weekly chat show. Yeah. Where we talk about events in, in our, our lives, lives, gossip and politics, politics, and take a deep, deep dive. dive into the DMs. So let's get into some hot. God. Oh my gosh. For those of you listening at home on Mom Plus, if you can't tell, we are at DragCon 2022 yes. Los Angeles Convention Center. Welcome to my super spreader event. <laughs> um uh, they're good. How's how's DragCon going, everyone? Yeah. Has anybody been a monster? Really? What did she do? Name your shame. Come forward, sir. We you can protect your identity. So wait, you had a bad experience with one of the queens? One of the one, over is that here. What you're saying? Uh -huh. She wouldn't say hi. She wouldn't say Ooh. hi. Did you give her her eighty dollars to go in her maze? <laughs> I just uh, waved, said hi. There was no. Who were you? Who lemon? With lemon. Maybe she didn't like well, you though. Probably not. Yeah. But was she in drag? Full beat. Well, that's nice of her. Some queens yeah. can't even be bothered. Yeah. You know I what it mean. is? You know what it is without the drag, right? A con. <laughs> <laughs> Putting the con in drag con. Wait, I just want to tell our listeners who are listening only, not viewing, we're both in full drag. Oh, yes. Beautiful gowns. Honestly, I'm a little uncomfortable because of all the stones and sequins. Yeah. It's cutting into my skin. But I'm so corseted. Yeah. Uh, that it's actually painful. She actually have, has live lotuses on her face, like Cruella. Yeah. Remember that part? A lotus fly. <laughs> A dragonfly. Very, <laughs> very that. Oh, we got the soundboard, or is that Carrie Colby under the table? <laughs> She's actually here. Bring they, her out. They don't let us leave. They had Gottmik change up to his table, do a meet and greet till midnight last night. Oh, my God. Yeah. Really? What? Uh -huh. It was crazy. We, uh, Lemon was there being rude. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Not saying hi. Uh, no. She was being grand. No. Uh, she was being grand. <laughs> My friend said her helpers should be called lemonades because they're all in yellow and they're helping her. The wedges. That's good. Wed oh, the what wedges. Are you talking about? wedges. She wore a wedge? A wedge. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. If you put on a wig, it'll be funnier. 
We have had so many amazing guests come through the Mom Podcast booth yeah. this weekend. And thank you all for being here right now. Thank you uh, for creating a bottleneck. Our mo- <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Fire hazard. Uh, this is the Mom Podcast booth. Moguls of media. Look at the, the royal purple interior. Yes. Uh, plush, you- plush velvet carpets. Do you see this font choice? This is taste on display and excellence. Honey, the font choice is correct. We've had Priyanka through here. We yes. had Delta work. Yep. We had um, Latrice. Uh-huh. She was just here. Heidi in closets come in. Uh, maybe a girl and Izzy a she. Uh-huh. Stopped Ra- in. Raja got lost, came here looking for edibles. <laughs> she said, I do a podcast. We said, we know, girl. <laughs> Arise um, was here. I Arise talked to her the other here. day. That was great. Lucy Stool was here. She gave it to the children, and then she asked for it back. Right. <laughs> and of course, Big Dipper and Meatball. Yes. Uh, we've had a great time. It's been super duper. How's DragCon been for you? Um, uh, stunning. You didn't seem busy at all yesterday. Did you do anything? You know, I'm. I'm just. You know, just relaxing. I heard there was a pageant award show competition, pageant excellence competition. There was. Did there you was. win? We had many celebrity guest judges. Oh my God, were they nice? A bevy of beauties. A bevy? No, one of them didn't say hi to me. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was Jackie. She was the host. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Jackie was great. She was a very apt host. Um, she looked comfortable. She was, she was shoeless, like after after act one. <laughs> After scene one, uh-huh. not even act one, she was shoeless and just wandering around like a webbed foot duck. Much, much, l- I think she's, uh, she stems from a long line of platypus. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, um, it was a, do, was anyone there at the event last night? We thank you so much for supporting. Who did you want to win in three, two, one? Okay, yeah, San Fran okay. representing the house. I really like your nails. Your drag's not valid. Um, uh, no, I'm kidding. All drag is valid. We had so amazing. I made a joke. Oh, wait, no, I'm kidding. Oh, my God. I made two jokes. Okay. It's so deep, it's a triple entendre. We had so much amazing talent last night. I was blown away by the show. Uh, and we had a completely sober audience because... <laughs> no, you didn't. Our li- What? What were you on? Every I was on... I actually was... Uppers, downers, and candy corns. No, I took my job as a judge seriously. Enough so that when one of the contestants came up to me after and said, Good judging, Willem. I just said, thank you. Because I know she was thank being you. a bitch. But I know in my heart that I took my job seriously and scored those dolls lovely. There was no, everything was legible. I didn't use any point fives. I tried to make Lola's job easy and I really respected the talent and they deserve fair scores because they all worked really hard. Um, yeah. Well, thank you for that. We appreciate you so much. Yeah, but I was on edibles too. Okay, But good. that doesn't affect my judgment. I can still tell good drag from bad drag. Like most of the drag made me want to tip, made me want to go up and tip and that oh, was exciting. Yes. But oh, nobody's yeah. ever said, ooh, that pageant should have been longer. Mama. But it was run pretty well for a pageant. It was under four hours. And that is, this is short for a pageant. <laughs> this is the thing. The pageants, if you go to one in Chicago, they go Five, well six, into hours. the night, into 1 a. 3 a.m. We were done before 11, which is impressive. Baby, I was done at 8. Because I don't want to... I don't want to cut the talent off at one minute because that's what you would have to do. I like people to have a moment to really live and breathe in it. Mm-hmm. And I'm really grateful to the audience for going on the fucking long form journey with us yeah. without a drop of alcohol to be yeah. sold in the building because of Los Angeles Police Department. Uh, and they were very helpful getting us here today. I stopped and asked four policemen and women and n- they said, maybe you could go down to Broadway and then get over. And I was like, Broadway is parallel with the, conv- like, why would I go down over eat? Like, they knew nothing. Like, they, di- they didn't say hello. Uh, I don't, they, they don't even know. They, <laughs> the police don't know where drag con no, is. No, they said Fuck to get to guys. the convention center, it was very difficult. I didn't have my wig on. I was flustered. I was trying to live and breathe and 
Or get live and breed? Well, as oh. I live and breathe. A dragonfly. You had a bunch of porn stars with you. Is that true? Oh, yeah, honey. Raheem and the whole crew rolled through. Wait, Raheem? Yeah, baby. When? Uh, Yesterday. Uh, we had Raheem, my friend Travis, who um does shows. He brought him. <laughs> she does shows. Uh-huh. Um, Giving got, shows. It was shows at the door. Giving oh, shows. Oh, it was door shows. Oh, it was door shows. Uh, stunts. Uh, Raheem came. Elijah came. Some oh, French boy that's family. about to get pillaged and plundered on Monday. Um, and yeah. Uh, yeah. Roxas. Roxas. Uh-huh. The whole family. Everybody was there. It was great. They're all incredible artists. I know. Yeah, I'm obsessed with them. Yeah. Uh, have you talked to RuPaul? Did she come over? <laughs> Did we get Ru Dipper? Did we get Rue on the purple couch? She tried. <laughs> That's not true. She tried, but she couldn't afford the Wi-Fi. It's like $79. I just saw a messy yeah. man. Yeah, I don't know. Is RuPaul here today? Does anyone know? She's not here. Don't they have her hologram ready yet for Drag Race Portugal? <laughs> no. She was playing music the, the last couple of days, and she plays really, really good music. Uh, three hours of just hits after hits. I was at one point she played Shackles by Mary Mary, which is Ugh. which is for a season one Drag Race lip sync song. Chanel lifted her dress and did fancy, fancy footwork. footwork. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the and, fanciest. Uh, yes, fancy. I did not see RuPaul yet. Um, Does she have gowns on display this year? That's sad. That was my favorite part, walking under the gowns, like on shrooms and just looking up. It's like being under a Christmas tree. They're such beautiful gowns, and that's not a read. I wanted to steal one. Uh, this was going to be the year. It was. I mean, what are they going to do, stop you? I really wanted to steal one of those dresses. I mean, you've stolen the hearts of millions. <laughs> Actually, I have a cardiologist that wants to talk to you. <laughs> We want to take a second to talk to you about Helix mattresses. Yes, we do. <laughs> Helix, Helix. No, uh, we do actually want to talk about a product, though. So this is kind of like a live advertisement. On Mom Plus, there are no advertisements. No. Uh, Hi, Lola. L so, okay. we have. Did anyone get any Mom merchandise? Uh, Show it to us. Okay. Show well, it to us. Well, let's take a look at what we've got. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh my god. Who are gosh. those fucking sluts? <laughs> Look at those hot sluts. Actual divas of drag. Now let's see what we've got here. Oh, look at these. Look oh, at these two wow. beauties. They are appearing in the illusion of Maddie Morphosis and Willem. Yeah. <laughs> and on this shirt, they're appearing in the illusion of Detox and Derek Barry. <laughs> beauties. 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 Up, do. So Up. So uh, we do. We we also have the mom logo tee, okay? Which is, uh, wait, where's the where's, Oh, that's oh, it. I see I love this one. Simplicity is key. Our Exactly, it's comfortable. Our model Maxwell is really stirring up the drama <laughs> with this mom podcast network tee and um is also wearing boots. Uh, thank you Katrina. Sue Ellen, you're in big trouble. <laughs> Sue Ellen, who are all these people? Uh, um, I have a question. Oh, wait, what's this? This is the Everybody Say Mom blouse. Everybody Say Mom! Mom! Yes! Yes. This is sort of designed like a rom-com, isn't it? That sort of Uh-huh, it's wrong, that's for sure. <laughs> rom -com. There's no cum on it yet, though. Yeah, it's all the girls. It's Alaska, Delta, Heidi, Shay, Meatball, Raja. Yes. Latrice eating in that photo. Oh, yeah. Look at that. She said, this is my shoulder. She Kiss said, it, baby. Uh, and then we have Manila Luzon, High Jinx, Jada Essence Hall, uh -huh. Big Dipper, Priyanka, say her name, and Willem. And me. Willemina. It's a great shirt, and they're all limited edition, um, so get them now. We also have the Be uh, Bebbington, Tivana, Van Cartier, St. James, Do Deluxe. We still have that one? We have, they're $10 over on the my side. Fire sale. Yeah. Tuts. And We're they, trying to clear out. Yeah, we've had them since 2018, I think. We don't and even say Tivana anymore we on don't. the podcast. And if they smell like cum, you're welcome. They've been in my studio four years. So I was wondering, is there anyone who doesn't have a mom's shirt but wants one? Jordan. Okay, Jordan great. right there. 
here at stitchfix.com slash drag. <laughs> Honey, those stitches need fixed. Honey, uh, baby, I got a scent bird behind the couch. <laughs> uh -huh. A scent bird? Yep. It's a turkey. <laughs> it's chocolate. So we also have an amazing mug. And I'm mug. not talking about my face. We will be throwing it into the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. We're not going to do Catch that. Catch it. Catch Look, the ring with your mouth. I This was the first thing I got because this is very useful. It has lipstick uh, imprints on it. Those are our actual lips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we tried it. It took, it took us each 20 minutes to try and get a lip print on a piece of paper that they would scan. And all of them look like shite. Yeah. So uh, these are from Shutterstock.com, these <laughs> lips. <laughs> I but think they're nice. But this is a great mug. The black lacquer interior uh -huh. matches the black handle. Oh. It says hot goss, so you can really sip the tea, hunty. Melt your pump. <laughs> and actually, may I have the mug? Yeah. This oh, you have the mug. Oh, right. I have the mug. Yeah, I have the mug. Some of us getting dragged. Um, <laughs> this is actually a black rainbow if you turn it on the side. Oh, taste the rainbow. There's a pot it's of gold chocolate. at both ends. Yeah. Yes. Um, Hello. Why don't we do a very hard trivia question and see uh, who can guess it? Okay. Uh, okay. On season one of Drag Race, the lip sync song Shackles by Mary Mary, who was lip syncing? Well, you already told him one. I see you in the blonde hair. Okay, we have Chanel. Do you know who else? You you're lost. Al you're allowed to Google it, because I actually would like to know. Jade? I think it was. I think it was Jade and Chanel. I don't know the answer. Can someone Google it? I don't know, even know the answer. I'm just I text Jade from Little Mix. Uh, did you look sick really, against Chanel? I just really want to know. It's Rebecca Glasscock. So, oh. what size shirt you want, bitch? Oh, and it was a, and Chanel went home. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Huh? You want the mug? You oh, better get bitch? this mug. You better get this mug. You better get, congratulations, you win the mug. Yay. Mug. And We're if, your makeup girls mug. And if the, if the mug breaks, you better fix your mug. <laughs> you need to. I don't need to fix my mug. You need to fix your mug. You need to fix your mug. Um, we're gonna take our break real quick. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. And we'll be right back. Thank you. It's a fire sale? Fire sale. Are they, uh, in the words of your best friend that you love to do drugs with, burning up, up, burning up, got me burning up. <laughs> Jesse J. <Jay. laughs> Remember? Didn't you guys go to rehab together? That was Rita Ora. Oh, whatever. <laughs> You're friends with all the celebrities. I love it when you name drop. You know RuPaul. Pink news is going to be contacting <laughs> us about this. One can hope. Is it true that you did drugs with Jesse J and Rita Ora <laughs> at DragCon? Katy Perry gave me an abortion. <laughs> um, okay, so we're back from our break. Why did we, we really took a break? Okay, this is the moment. Okay, Are, do this you have your headlamp? Do you have your headlamp on? I do. All right, get your get your hip wading boots because there is water down in this cave. Ooh. There is water. This is the moment where we go spelunking, unking, unking deep, deep, deep inside, inside the, the DMs. DMs. It's the echo chamber. Oh my God! What is that in the back? What is that? It's like a rumpled pile? It's RuPaul in the window uh. looking down. Okay, so we're in a cave now. What do we do? We ta oh, we take live questions. Yeah. Oh, the oh, these aren't the DMs. These are the actual M's. Right. Yes, come on up. Oh. 
All right. Yes, make your way to the front. Hello, Everything Stunny. must be leopard print. Hi, hello, yes. We live. I got the friend of the pod necklace on. Oh, I love that friend of the pod necklace. All right, so uh, my question is, if you could rewatch any season of Drag Race over and review it, which one would it be? Mine. <laughs> it was good. You know, I was going to say season four. Yeah. It's such a good season. You're on it. You're on it. The casting special. I was, uh, yeah, I was a little bit on it. But You're there. No, should we do that? Should we do a season where we do du- double, uh, du- four, double classy? Again, again. What if we yeah. review double our review of it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we can review the review. <laughs> and see how much it's and changed. And we can be like, we were so stupid back then. <laughs> oh, to my us. God. Uh, yes. Yeah, we could do that. All right. What season? The last season, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We could Thank just you. make that's up our question. own all-star season and say stuff that's happening, like fan fiction, and make it a podcast. Oh my Let's god! Let's do it for April Fool's that's Day next year. Really we'll do an all-fake podcast. I am. Let's do all-fake. All-fake. Di- Dipper, are you putting this in the file? When's April Fool's 2023? Somebody look it up. Good. Thanks everybody for the help. Amazing. Okay. Do you have a Do you have a, a direct message for us? I do. Okay, so um, what is your least favorite and favorite Moguls of Media podcast? Shady, bitch. Y'all are shady. (laughs) I had to pull a RuPaul. Favorite and least favorite? Well, I'm not going to answer that. Next. The but, limit does the fa- limit does not exist. My favorite is Race Chaser though, uh, because the, the flagship property. Because we do the flagship property. <laughs> because we are a chain. The, we are a chain. Yeah. Uh, but wait, so is there one that you don't listen to podcasts? But probably, Honest, probably my go my go to my, my most that. consistent listen is very that because every Monday it's like clockwork. Like I need yeah. it. Uh, I need them to live. Um, I also love, I mean, I listen to all of them, but that's my most consistent one. Yeah, yeah. I this bury that and uh, Heidi uh, Hall and Closet. Oh, I've yeah. I've listened to those because they're new and like, I'm a producer. <laughs> um, so, producer credit. Producer credit, EVP, <laughs> above the line, we don't break top of show. Um, walk away lunch. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> These are industry terms, spaghetti on the floor. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I like hi- Hall and Closet. I like Very That. The Chop is good if you watch the shows in the other countries. If not, it's still fun because Manila and Latrice are great. And Slappy Seconds is wonderful. I listened when I was on it, and sometimes I w- listen to all the social clips. Yes. Yeah. Hot Goss sucks. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's Hot Goss. Yeah. Hi. That's Hot Goss. That's Hot Goss. Hello, my name is Alex, a uh, friend of the pod. Thank you, friend um, of the pod. <laughs> well, my first question was... Oh, multi-part. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, my question for you, Alaska, is, is Latoya Jackson still official enemy of the pod? Yes. 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 <laughs> she is the deepest enemy of the pod, forever enemy of the pod. And yes. it's a legacy position. Oh. EOTP. <laughs> and then Willem, um, from a scale to one to ten, how high are you right now? I haven't had any drugs today. Oh. Because I wanted my eyes to look white for photos. Okay. Work. Because after, it's just like, oh. You know when you smoke and you get eye boogers instantly? Like, I didn't want that right now. I love that. Thanks. It's integrity, you guys. Yeah. Let's do one more question. Wouldn't it be wild if instead of sending nudes, they just like expose themselves? Kinda. I don't think we can do that. I don't How think you we're doing, zoned. Leo? For, we're not zo- zoned for nudity. All right. He's ready. You got any questions? Uh, we're, we're not zoned for nudity. Hi. Hi, so my name is Cody. Hi, Cody. I'm Hello. wondering if the mom podcast gives any refunds. Because I bought the book, which I was really excited to have Willem sign. But then she took it and bit it. So I now wow. have her mouth print on my book. You can identify her corpse that way. Yeah. That'll yes. come in handy for those Law & Order episodes, right? Yes. Listen, it was Boston SVU, legal. and it was the year 2000. Times were tough. 
Boston Murder Club or whatever it is. It was the Women's Murder Club. Oh, Women's Murder Club. And Boston Public. And Women's Murder Club. Delta was there, too. And Chad. Boston Pubic. You were in the porn remake. <laughs> um, I need to stop making fun of my IMDb. Sharknado. Uh, so, wait. Are you... Are you doing refunds on the uh, on suck less? Um, we had a client and they didn't like the session, so <laughs> you know what you could do with that book: set it on fire, crystallize it, <laughs> and then crystal. bang it on the runway until you're ready to be a Glamazon, all right? <laughs> and then write your own goddamn book, Cody. I love you. Thanks Whole for purchasing final. it. What'd you say about my hole? It's not on sale. <laughs> Step away from the mic. <laughs> Bye, thank you. Wow. Uh, we thank you so much we thank for you. listening to Race Chaser Race Live from DragCon 2022. We appreciate you yes. so much. We are your moms here, and what? we are your moms Mom. here. Are, well, let's read this verbatim. We are your moms here, our mom podcast, and we want to thank you for tuning into all of our programming and supporting our fantastic hosts. And podcast. podcasts. Yes, we do. We want to thank you all very much yeah. for listening. And a shout out to all of our Mom Plus subscribers. Ooh. Please. Is anyone a Plus subscriber? Y'all don't want to lie and we make it better? Is anyone a Plus subscriber? Yes. Oh, my we God, the blessing. you. We know you're listening. Thank you. Well... Uh, if you would like a free month of Mom Plus, yeah. you just grab one of these postcards. Um, they're over there. Uh, exactly. Thank you, Vanna White. Um, Thank you. And Spokesmodel category. Yep. You can use the code DRAGCON. Yes. For one month free of Mom Plus. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, and we thank you so much yep. for joining us. So much. For Hot Goss Live. Yeah. Thank you all. We appreciate you. Race Chaser with Alaska and Willem is a forever dog podcast. Hosted by Alaska Thunderfuck and Willem. Produced by Big Dipper. Editing and sound design by Will Pitts. Executive produced by Brett Boehm, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. Our theme song is by Alaska Thunderfuck. <laughs>